Hey Tessa, my name is Dallin and I am the owner and marketing consultant here at Iron Chest SEO. We specialize in the pest control niche. Uh, we rank some of our own websites for lead generation and we were just doing some research here in the Lubbock area. I come across your website and I wanted to shoot this video over to you and uh, just give you guys some tips and tricks on how you can improve your online presence. And listen, Tessa, I don't want to waste any of my time. I don't want to waste any of your time either. Uh, so if this is something that you think you might be interested in, just you know, reach out. If not, no harm, no foul. You're free to take these tips and tricks and use them yourself. Uh, all I ask is if I could please get some feedback on what you thought about this video. So the three things that we're going to go over today, Tessa, are the basically the three things that the Google algorithm is saying that works in today's market, and that is content, citations, and backlinks. So uh, first off, of content. So Google likes to see anywhere from 1,500 to 2,000 words of content just on the first page, and as well as just uh, you know having good content in there, you want to have high quality and relevant keyword rich content. That way, uh, the Google algorithm knows and can identify what type of services you do uh, according to you know the local searches that are happening in your area. So. You know, it's pretty standard for the pest control industry, kind of, you know, you know, across the board, you know, pest control, Lubbock, Lubbock pest control, exterminators, Lubbock, you know, the same thing. If it was in Phoenix, it'd be pest control Phoenix. Uh, but so in, in your content, you're going to want to have those high quality relevant keywords in there. That way the Google algorithm can identify that you do those services along with just having good content in there like that. You're also going to want to have these pictures saved. Uh, with keywords behind them as well. So of course if the Google algorithm comes up to it, um, it can't see those pictures, but it can see what's behind it. So uh, I would change this right here to a keyword. That way you're getting, you know, you're getting optimization on your website for that. Uh, kind of like this, how I, uh, like this is a location we have in Omaha. So flea, pest control, Omaha, and E. That way that, uh, that keywords in behind that picture. Uh, so I'm going through here not a whole lot of content the site looks really good I would just that's what I would do each one of these sections I would have a header like this and uh, I would have keywords in there uh, again so that's that's just so the Google algorithm can identify so the next up I'm going to show you Tessa is I'm going to be the Google user and I'm coming in here this is the uh, the most search intent keyword in this area pest control love it gets searched 450 times a month uh, and the first thing that's going to come up here is just your local service ads. And the next one down is your PPC. You always see these big companies like this uh, running these. They are very effective. Uh, we've actually been running some of our own ads and converting right around 45% into, into leads. Uh, and uh, But the one thing with them, Tessa, is that a lot of people are running ad blockers these days. You know, if they're surfing the web a lot, that way they're not getting spammed with ads here or display ads on a website. And so they just turn on that ad blocker. Um, so the next one down here, this is your map pack. So map pack in my experience is about 90% of the leads uh, will come to, you know, phone call leads from the map pack right here in the top five. Um, very simple to get in the map pack. It all has to do off of your citation. So citations are basically just online directories anywhere where your business name, your business phone number, and your business address is listed in the in the directory, and that's giving you a citation and giving you authority back. Uh, and with with the map pack, you know quantity is everything. So the more you have, the more you, that Google says that you are the top dog, and the more that they'll bring you up. The other things on the map pack, you know, of course, like a good consistent review pattern. That way Google sees that your people are using your business and they're reviewing it and then keeping up with weekly posting. Uh, so, you know, Google basically, they, they want to be like Facebook. So when you're posting and interacting with your customers, that also gives you a pretty big boost on your GMB. So the next one down. This is your organic section. And so organically, it all has to do off of your backlink. So simply put on that, backlinks are any other website that is uh, that has your website linked back to it. So it could be a guest post, it could be a private blog, it could be a news article of some sort that's a relevant uh, has relevant content in the article for pest control and then what I like to do is is I like to set my anchor text as a keyword so we'll we'll have a 
we'll have a relevant post about Lubbock Pest Control and that Lubbock Pest Control will be clickable and when you click it it goes back to your website and that's what's giving you authority in Google's eyes. So the next thing here Tessa, this is a tool that I use called Arifs. Uh, now it is just a tool, it's not 100% correct all the time. It does update uh, pretty frequently though and keeps up with the Google algorithm. Uh, so it just gives me all the information about everybody's sites and, and this is how we're able to go in and kind of use the copycat method is what we call it. And basically if uh, we go in and do everything that the competitor is doing uh, because if Google says it's working for them, then it'll work for you too. So uh, right here we can see that your domain was created back here around 2014 in this area. This is when it started first having some referring domains going back to it. But we can see your URL rating is 15. You got a domain rating of 2.7. You want to kind of keep those numbers close together. You got 26 referring domains going back to 73 backlinks. You're getting found for 50 organic keywords and you got 66 people traveling to your website every month. So I'm going to click in here and just take a quick look at your organic keywords to see where your traffic's coming from. So here it is. Here's just your, your uh, brand name, Pest Control Lubbock. You guys are getting picked up for that. This was updated on June 17th, by the way. So 450 volume. This is how many people are searching every month, right? Uh, it's uh, got a cost per click of 10. So if you were to pay for a Google ad, you would you most likely be paying right around $10 per click. Uh, you've got four people traveling to your website every month and you're sitting in position number 15. So that's, you are on the second page for that keyword uh, because there's 10 listings for every um, uh, page. So the next thing, I'm just going to do a quick look at one of your, your highest competitor here. This is D's Pest Control in Lubbock. Uh, they've been around just a little bit longer and they've, they've been doing and keeping up with all their SEO. So you can see how their URL rating and domain rating are higher. Uh, they've got 112 referring domains going back to 382 backlinks and they've got 698 people traveling to their website every month looking for those pest control services. So real quick, just dive in to see what they have. Pest Control Lubbock, again, the 450, they're sitting on position number one and they have 184 people visiting their website every month looking for pest control services in Lubbock. That'd be a Pretty big game changer for you guys. Uh, next one, just real quick, we're going to look at what kind of referring domains they have. So the copycat method that I was telling you about, this is how we're able to go in. We can come in here and see what kind of links they have. Okay, looking over their links real quick, like expertise, yellow pages, local.yahoo. These are the directories that I was telling you about. So the, all these are citations, and we can see one real quick. Or let's not go in it that way. Let's do here and here. So Lubbock TX Exterminator, there's a keyword in the domain there. Uh, and then here you go. I don't see them exactly, but this is just like what I'm talking about with the yellow pages. It's where the business name, the business phone number, and the address. They don't have theirs here, but here's an address right here. So this right here would be considered a citation. Uh, Let's look at one more very, very quickly because I've seen this and I don't know what it is. Coldwell Banker, your trusted advisor. So it looks like some kind of article at the bank. So if, if we were to go in and we could not get this link, uh, what we would do is just go get another link that has the equal power. And so it just, it'll counter each other. So let's see, this is some kind of, nope, it's for a listing. So I'd have to do some digging in here, but basically this listing is somewhere in here. There is where this realtor most likely referred this pest control company and uh, put their website URL in there. We'd have to do some digging and find it, but that's just, that's the main gifs of it. Uh, somewhere this realtor is probably working with this pest control company and they have a list of their website URL in here at some point. So anyways, Tessa, I really appreciate your time. I hope you found this information valuable, and I really look forward to hearing back from you guys.